RNG. I don't even know what that means. No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. No, it's not. It's gets the people going. Random. Random news. RNG. TGP. TGP Random news generator. RNG. RNG. Real nigga games. Random news. RNG. Random number generator. RNG. Real nigga games. RNG. TGP. Random news. Random news. RNG. RNG. Random news. Real nigga games. Samurai black. Random numbers. TGP. RNG. Random news. Random news generator. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of RNG. And as the title states, mark your calendars, guys, because on February 19th, 2023, D Rain did it solo by myself. Nobody else. All me. Not a game. Yeah. That's what we talking about, uh, guys. We uh, but welcome. Like I said before, we just had uh, some scheduling conflicts with some of the other hosts uh, of the show. Uh, Ham is with his his lovely fiance taking a weekend uh, just for themselves. Also, able to let the kids stay home and just enjoy their own company. So shout out to them. Uh, Mark and his lovely fiance are. They are doing stuff. I don't know what they're doing. They're, they're, they're doing stuff. I don't know. But they are having brunch right now. So shout out to them. Uh, and I think birds sleep. So shout out to people sleep, man, because sleep is good, too. But it's kind of weird trying to do this this before show banter by myself. Um, but yeah, like life is good. Uh, they're all having a good ass time. I was able to go to Hibachi with, um, with the family yesterday to celebrate my sister's birthday. Uh, that was good. Um, I if you guys if you guys like hibachi, I would definitely recommend finding other hibachi places besides Benihana. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit. Um, I would say definitely find other hibachi places besides Benihana because Benihana is so fucking bougie now, bro. Like they pack you in, they they try to pack as many grills into a small ass area. And I felt like super cramped. Yeah. We got one called Osaka. Osaka. I think I've actually heard of Osaka. We have one called uh, Hino Oshi. And, and like, like I said, dude, like Benihana is just too big at this point, like in, in the head, they're too big. So I like, I like the our other one way better than Benihana now, but it was still a good time. Still a good time. Little sister uh, turned twenty six. Her birthday is on Valentine's Day, so she always feels real special around this time of year. Shout out to her. Um, and also, okay, so the, the other the other thing. So I've kind of talked about it on Twitter. So if you follow my Twitter, you'll actually be able to see it. But I've I've started getting more and more into Valorant esports. Um, uh, we, we were gonna watch Overwatch, but then Mark. Uh, like Mark was kind of like our window into Overwatch, and he's like, eh, it's ass. And dude, like, and like when he showed me that all the teams were the exact same, like that kind of turned me off too. But, but Valorant esports, like, if you if you are trying to get into like an esport and you don't want to watch League because M because um, not MMOs, but uh, MOBAs are just like they take doctorate degrees to understand. Try watching some Valorant esports because I think it's really entertaining. I think it's I think it's really good. Uh, but yeah, so they're gonna be uh, we're watching some matches earlier this week. There's a match going that's gonna be going on in about 30, 45 minutes. I'm super excited. Um, and if you guys are interested in it, let me know. And then I'll actually put some more uh some more of that content out uh for TGP. But without further ado. I want to go ahead and start off with some of the news that we have. And hopefully, now that I realize that it's actually already showing, hopefully that is the first story. Yes, so that's the first story. Perfect. So the first story we wanted to talk about, um, as you can see from the tweet that is posted on the page, Velma Season 2 is already in development. Um, gotta say, I'm pretty surprised by this one because I don't know. I, I want Anybody in the chat that has seen Velma, or watch some of the episodes of Velma. Let me know what you guys think. But I think it's very meh and not really that enjoyable. I didn't really enjoy it at all. Uh, it was okay. Like I watched the, I think I watched the first three or four episodes. So I feel like I gave it a good enough shot. 
but I just it just wasn't for me. And for that already to be in development of season two either tells me they were already ready to go season two, like when the, when the first season dropped, but it's received very, very, like, I guess, like, I, all I've seen is negative, back, negative feedback. I've only seen negative feedback. I haven't really seen anybody talk very or give it high praises or anything like that. So for it to be a season two already in production, it's kind of weird. Um, I feel like the show is I think we're, I was talking to him about it uh, extra earlier today I feel like the show is trying to be like you know how you can force yourself to be too woke and I, and I feel like that's kind of the, the direction it, it's going and I, I'm not going to say a lot of TVs go the way some people think a lot of TVs go over that I don't consider that but this one is just like a little too over the top and it's it's super cringy just not not for my taste so um that's me. If you watched it and enjoyed it, please don't take this as a, a, a bash to like your your TV taste. But I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't, me. it wasn't for me. So for the people, the fans of it, yay. For the people that don't like it, I mean, just go about your day. It's whatever. It's not that big of a deal. But I thought that was really interesting that it's already slated for that season two. Um, moving on to some better tv news uh we found out that john wick chapter four is gonna be three hours so i i i want three hours is a long time i just want to make sure we all just say that three hours that was that 180 minutes that's a long ass time to watch somebody kicking somebody's ass because that's, that's what john wick does right he just he, he kicks ass that's what he does so um my question is with how long i, I want if anybody's in the chat wants to answer how long is too long for a movie because three hours is a long time three hours to sit sit down there is a long time and there have been other three hour movies as well so it's not impossible but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All the other John Wick movies have been fantastic. Um, I really, really enjoy them. They don't feel nearly as long as what they are. And I feel like the first time you see a movie, it never feels really as long as long as it's a good movie. If it's a good movie, it doesn't feel as long as it is what it actually is. But if it's a bad movie or a bad movie, like those minutes drag on. Uh, OK, listen, it's John Wick. Yeah, it is John Wick. And the John Wick movies have been good. Three hours of him whooping ass is gonna be amazing. I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, they 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 haven't really done too wrong with this series. Um, I'm excited to see. Uh, and I think this is. I think they said that this is gonna be the last one. So I'm excited to see how everything um ends out. Uh, I can't wait to see. That's it's it's gonna be a movie I see in theaters 100. percent So John Wick Chapter Four, three hours long. Let us know in the comments if you think that is too long for the movie yo we're just breezing through these see see what happens when i when it's just me when it's just me and we don't have ham or bird or sometimes even bar just dragging topics on we just we just move through shit here so uh next topic um mattel has announced that they are going to do a reboot of Barney and you can see bro ham ham you know how to talk bro like don't don't act like like that's a surprise but Mattel is going to be rebooting Barney um so another yet another one of our our, our childhood treasures being rebooted um people in the comments if you watched Barney growing up let me know because I feel like not everybody did I watched a little bit not I, I was definitely more of uh a Nick kids kid growing up like I watched like Franklin and Blues Clues and, and all those and all those shows as well. Uh, I'm intense with my feelings. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. But um, the rebooting Barney that looks like to be the design, which definitely looks like a a 2022, 20, 23, whatever, 2020s reboot. Um, it it, it, go, it it goes to like it, it's always going to come back to the same conversations. Like yo, like when when do you stop rebooting things and when do you start uh creating new things and i think that's obviously going to be where the argument comes into um because like and then like like blues clues is still around and like blues clues looks completely different than what it used to so like that's just another example of them not like creating something new but just like revamping something and yeah so i don't know 
I'm not feeling it. But again, like I wasn't a huge Barney kid either, but I'm kind of on the fence of, yo, let's let, let's create something new. Um, I, I watched Barney. I was a PBS kid. <laughs> yeah, bro. I PB, yeah, PBS is a bad. I mean, they have new things. Yeah, and they do have new things. So Bluey, Bluey's super dope. Bluey's actually really, really dope. I, I, I enjoy Bluey. Um, Coco Melon, I've heard, is the, the devil. So I haven't watched it. I run away when I hear that Coco Melon, like, like, like that, uh, like that, that sound. It's like Coco Melon. Like, I just run away. So I don't know. I, I, I can't, I can't really speak on Coco Melon at all, but I do love me some Bluey. Bluey's dope. Okay, water boy. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, so. Barney reboot from Mattel. I think that because it, it, it's weird because it's going from and it's weird too because like every, they 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 want everything to be live action now. It's like why wouldn't Barney be also live like he was before? But they've got this new digital age design, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's probably because nobody wants to wear those those freaking uh, costumes anymore. That's probably what it is. Let's see. Um, speaking of live action, though. Uh, I feel like this is kind of circulated over the past few days, but a apparently a live action Lilo and Stitch is in the works and Zach Galifianakis is going to be starring in it. And obviously, if the image is to be is to be true, then he's been playing as Stitch. So first and foremost, I think everybody that watches the show or has come to any of my streams or talk or looks at any of the posts I ever make on social media, I'm not a huge fan of this live act, live action adaptation that's happening with so many different properties. And this is no different, like at all. Like Lilo and Stitch, it, Lilo and Stitch is one of my favorites. Like that's one of my favorite, uh, what, 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 one of my favorite one of my favorite Disney movies and I think it's absolutely amazing the, the I I've watched a couple episodes of the show the show is actually pretty solid as well this a this doesn't need to be remade like that's the first first and foremost it doesn't need to be remade at all but B like it does not and I mean the rock says does not need to be live action at all like I don't think it's gonna work I don't think it's gonna work. I was actually talking to uh, my my wife about this, and she was like, "Yo, like, do you know, you know how badly uh, Stitch is gonna look?" And I was like, "Okay, to be fair, I think as long as they put in the money and the time it takes, I think Stitch will look fine. Like, that's not necessarily the issue. It's just like I, Stitch doesn't talk, bro. Like that, that's the first. Like that's what Ham said first. Like, bro, like he doesn't talk. Like, why are we trying to have a, a of, of of somebody voice and, and act as stitch like he doesn't talk at all uh leave ohana means family yeah yo the show with the others but yeah like the show's like cool and, it, and it's animated it's stayed animated so stitch doesn't talk that's the first and foremost and b is like it doesn't need to be live action like if you want to like revamp it like be do like the other freaking properties just make a sequel out of fucking nowhere and do that. I don't know. Like just anything but a live action Lilo Sitch. First off, I I would have been your guest host. Nothing but <laughs> nothing but hot takes. Ghost, we are always here. Your hot takes are always welcome here, buddy. Always just jump in. Second, a live action stitch is crazy, bro. Exactly. Like it's crazy and it just doesn't need to happen whatsoever. No, ghost be tripping. Well, uh, see, like, but tripping's not always a bad thing, him. Like sometimes tripping is good and funny, but nah, bro. Uh Live action stitch is crazy, a hundred percent, dude. Like, um, yeah, dude. I I don't know, man. I, I'm I'm not for it. I'm not for it at all. Um, when's the last time Zach Galifianakis was even in something? Like, I think that's like the other thing that I'm kind of, I'm I'm kind of tripping about. So, like, if somebody knows, like, let me know. Like, I don't even remember the last time he was in something, let alone something like actually really good and really funny. So, it's a no for me, dog. 100 percent but apparently it, it, it's in the works it's in the works but goes how you doing man how you doing Hope, hopefully your day is going well today uh he he does behind uh he does behind the fern uh that show is latest is it okay so i have it i've neither heard of nor watched that so i'll i'll give it a shot and not to say that like he's not funny Zach is funny it's just 
as soon as he starts talking as Stitch, if I can understand everything he's saying, like I'm, I'm probably just going to turn it off. I'll probably turn it off before then, but if I force myself to watch it, I'll turn it off before, oh, as soon as that happens. He interviews famous people and basically, oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I guess I have seen some of those clips. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Talk some. Oh. All right, let's see. What else we got? Um, John Favreau. Listen, so can we just call him the savior now at this point? Because my, 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 my man... A man has the golden touch. And like when he touches something, like it just it just pops, bro. It just works. Um, John Favreau has finally gotten his uh star on Hollywood on uh Walk of Fame. Um well deserved, way overdue. But my man just like he say John Midas Favreau. Yeah, bro. Like I, I think that's how we should like really just like address him from now on. John Midas Favreau, bro. Like that's that's it. Cause he just he just makes things work, man. Like obviously from like in the MCU, like obviously with uh sorry, with Iron Man being able in, in that show, um, uh, all throughout the MCU, like with Endgame, with Mandalorian, with um with Elf, bro, like he just he just does it, bro. He is him. Like, if anybody is him, John Favreau is him. And for him to finally get his star on the Walk of Fame is, is like I said, well deserved. Needed to happen a long time ago. Elf, Iron Man, Mando, bro. Like, like you don't really have to say anything other than those three. Like, like that's it. That's really all you have to say. And he's just him, dude. Like he is. He's just him. So congrats to him. I'm excited for it. I'm excited for everything else that he does. Obviously, and continue work, uh, continue producing stuff. And ha if I had a hat, hats off to John Favreau, bro. Uh, we're winding down. We only got a couple more topics to talk about. Um, this was actually really funny. Um, we're going to switch over to a little bit of gaming news. So there was a, uh, a, uh, a report that came out where Xbox, um, Microsoft talks about uh, Game Pass and how they feel that Game Pass is, I, I think the word was actually cannibalizing uh, their video game sales. And it's like, what, what the fuck did you expect was going to happen, bro? Like, I feel like anybody with half a brain, like this, this, this had to have been just like a, a, a clickbaity title, a clickbaity article that IG had put out. Um, but if you have a service, that puts all of your games on that service for the subscription. Why would anybody pay for the service and then also go buy the game? The, like the only people doing that, like, and honestly, I don't think they're doing it, but the only people that I can think of that would potentially do that are like, um, our collectors. Like I, I could see, I could technically see Mark, like, if he so he obviously Mark uh, shout out to TGP Mark he's a big Nintendo um, really not even just Nintendo he's a collector like in the, the day he's just a collector um, but if there were properties on on Microsoft that he was really big on collecting like he, he was with Halo but like that's really been it. from my talks with Halo is like really the only Xbox exclusive uh, title that he like really really cares about or cared about. I can see Mark having Game Pass, which he does, and buying a physical copy of, of Halo. I can 100% see that. But the everyday Joe Schmo, D Ray, and Hamurai ghost person, like, it's not going to do that. So, so, and the thing is, Game Pass is a really good deal. So, like, people are going to do Game Pass and they're not going to buy games on top of, of paying for Game Pass. That doesn't make any, not in my brain doesn't make any sense if somebody wants to educate me go ahead and go for it but to me that doesn't make sense this is kind of like an uh, this is a old dub moment like yeah of course your game sales are going to suffer especially for how much they push game pass too excuse me they push game pass like like obviously like if you follow any if you follow xbox or microsoft like in most of their like advertisements and, t and talking about like their services they really push game pass so of course, people are going to do Game Pass and not buy games. Like, fucking weirdo. Of course, that's going to happen. Um, I wonder if if they're starting to see that being as a negative thing to whereas the the, um, the one-time 
game sales that they were that they would be making is is netting them more money than what the subscription is and i think that might be that's a discussion to be had i don't necessarily know how all those financials work and i don't i don't believe they're really forthcoming about how those financials work so i wonder if that's that's the issue is that they're seeing less income coming in from uh from game pass than what they would were expecting or wanted but i mean there's a lot of people that have game pass and that's it's not guaranteed income but it's like you know like expected income like okay we had this many people on game pass last month we can assume that like they're going to be here around next month and like we know how much versus putting out a game and having no idea how many people are going to buy it except for like maybe pre-sales that, that you have so maybe that's part of it but I think that's an obvious dub moment. Like, yes, of course, your game sales are, are going to drop. And Call of Duty, the 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 game is old as time. Uh, the the like the default shooter, I guess. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how else I'm going to describe this game, but uh, Call of Duty uh, uh, just release their ranked mode so they, they finally have a ranked mode um it's for multiplayer it's not for warzone for the br which i think that's the first kind of like talking point is the fact that they decided to put out this ranked mode i feel like ranked has been a thing that call of duty fans have been wanting for quite a while now so uh, having ranked yay good job awesome but for it to only be in the multiplayer is kind of an odd situation because I feel like the Call of Duty fans are definitely split. Uh, the fans actually still enjoy multiplayer and TDM and and uh, and search and destroy and those game modes versus the guys uh, that play Warzone. I feel like like people that like Warzone, like they they play Warzone, they play Resurgence, and that's what they do. And the guys that like TDM and they type of thing, they typically stick to that and don't really they don't really cross over too much. So. Having um, got having the I almost said God of War for some reason having uh, the ranked mode only be for the multiplayer is kind of bizarre. I feel like I feel like if it, it would have made more sense to kind of just wait, uh, like let rate keep ranked out of the game for a little bit longer while you prepared it for the BR as well. Um, and the fact that the ranked, it looks like from, I haven't played it just because you guys know me, I don't really play Call of Duty that much anymore, but I've seen like rumblings on Twitter and on social media about the ranked mode and how a, if you don't have a team, don't bother playing. Like I think I've, I've heard that from numerous people. Like if you don't have a full squad, don't bother playing. Um, it's not worth it because there, there's no communication. Like people throw people quit out things like that so that's the first thing if you don't have a team don't don't bother even jumping in period uh but the other thing i've heard is that it's only search and destroy which that is that kind of stinks because it's only one game mode but like that's like the like the it the like competitive game mode for Call of Duty, like all the all the big tournaments uh, for Call of Duty, obviously before Warzone, were, were typically Search and Destroy. Like that's the competitive, that's the competitive game mode. So if you don't like Search and Destroy, you're not gonna like rate that much anyway. Um, but if you and if also if you're a Warzone player, you're you don't even really get to get into to rate at all. Now it rotates through some modes they do control, which is the okay, okay. So it does rotate. So from from the some of the tweets that I saw is like. Uh, I saw that someone was saying that you're limited to such a destroy. So it is nice that they are they are rotating between some game modes. Um, that's kind of how um, Apex is doing um, their mix, kind of like the 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 uh, mixtape play playlist. So rotating through a couple of game modes, like that's cool. Um, that's good to know. That is good to know. I think it does hard point too. So control. Um, Search and Destroy and Hard Point are some of the game modes that are going to be in ranked. Um, that's always really weird, though, like when you have multiple game modes in a ranked playlist. So like, obviously you can see the rank the rankings on the on the screen there. So like somebody can say, yo, I'm I'm platinum, but they're absolutely trash at Search and Destroy, something like that. Um, so that, that's that's 
it's kind of weird that it rotates like that, but I mean, at least it does. At least it does rotate. So there is some variety. So you're not just doing the same thing over and over again. I still think that if, or like, if they really want to be competitive as and be known as one of the better BRs on, on the market, that they've got to get a ranked mode in Warzone. Like they just have to. Uh, I still think that even with knowing that yeah, that it's rotating playlists, uh, I still think that they should have waited a little bit longer um, and released ranked for both. But that is me personally. So, what do you guys think? If you if you do play Call of Duty, well, so so Ghost, have you played it, or do you just know people that have played it? Yeah, because Search and Destroy ate my vibe. Well, yeah, because you're because you're a runner and gunner, bro. Like in Search and Destroy, you can't really do that in Search. Well, you should do that in Search and Destroy. But um, I just know people. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So yeah, um, that's really. I mean, those are really kind of the the the, the news bits that we have today. Um, because Ham isn't here to give a recommendation, I feel like I know the recommendation that he would give. Um. I'm not gonna. Oh, actually, before I get to that, um, I I didn't put an image on here, but I did get to see uh, Ant Man Quantum Uh, this week, uh, with me and my uh went to go see it on Thursday. Um, if you haven't seen it, or if you haven't seen news about it, understand that um all of the uh Rotten Tomatoes, not all, of them, but Rotten Tomatoes has given it a very very piss poor score. In the last time I looked, it was like 53 percent or something like that for critic score. Um, but it was like plus 80 percent um viewer score so with that in itself understand that a everybody's tastes are different b and me personally i think rotten tomatoes sounds about right i think rotten tomatoes like is giving it an unfair score personally i went to go see it um for the most part i did enjoy it there are some things that i did not like about it like quite a bit but that is me personally um, if I were to give it a score, I would give it somewhere between like uh, a high six and low seven. Um, Jonathan Majors did his thing, bro. <laughs> Ghost is stripping. Uh, yeah, there we go. See, look, see, like you said right there, different tastes, different tastes, man. Um, it was okay. Uh, oh, so and this is another thing, and I think a lot of people, I think especially like growing, uh, like um, that 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 people really skew like the ratings from one to 10 because if i say a six and most people minds that's like yo that's a d bro that's trash that's really bad but make sure you're viewing it on the whole spectrum not necessarily just like a b c d f uh, or whatever blah 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 so i would say like a high six low seven is, is where i is where i would put it um there was i don't want i don't want to do any spoilers at all uh, just because, you know, Burr gave us his, his, his take on spoilers last week. So we're not going to do any spoilers right now. Um, it was enjoyable. My wife, so my wife who, I, I always like to bring my wife into the talk because she's not a a big MCU fan at all. Actually, she did say this past week. It's like, yo, I think it'd be kind of cool if we started reading some of the comics. So like we know some of these backstories and things like that. I was like, yo, that's dope. Bet. But um, yeah, with with her, she enjoyed the movie. She she enjoyed it. I think she gives it a little bit higher rating than me. I think she gives it like like a like a high seven, low eight, maybe. Uh, is what she talked about. Can we please talk about this in the after show? We can talk about this in the after show, Ghost. I got you. I got you. Uh, I have a lot of feelings, bro. I have a lot of feelings too, man. There's there's certain things that happen throughout the movie that I enjoyed. There's certain things that happen in the movies that I just did not agree with whatsoever. Um. But yeah, so let us know what you guys think about the movie. Try, please, please, any type of comments. Make sure you're not spoiling it too much for anybody. We try to at least wait like a week or two or so. I got to explain to him that he's wrong. Jeez, bro. Okay, I can't wait to hear that. Um, but I think so that's uh, that's one recommendation. And then we actually got a trailer for the Tetris movie. Um, and I know... Just saying Tetris might like kind of throw some people off. But look at the trailer, bro. Like for real. Like watch the trailer. I'm actually kind of excited about this movie. It's it's kind of like it's kind of apparently like the loosely based off of how the game like really came about. Bro, hey, Tetris. Yes, ghost Tetris. Look it up right now before we get into this after show. <laughs> uh but it looks really good it looks really really good i i'm going to be watching it 100 like 
probably in the theaters as well. Like I would, I from that trailer alone, I would pay to uh, a theater ticket to go watch it. He was he was just doing his job. <laughs> Listen, I and it's funny, like I read that, I know exactly what they're talking about, and I have not been in that conversation whatsoever. But guys, that's gonna be it for me. Like I said, uh one one man show, so quick episode. Um I appreciate everybody. Uh, oh, actually, before I end though, um everybody, I think everybody that I've seen in the chat knows about this, but we do have um, on this coming Friday, our duos apex tournament. Um, there are still a few slots that are available. Um Make sure to sign up for it. Like, if you're interested, like, there's no interest fee. There's no, like, KD requirements or anything like that. Just you and a duo going in. Um, definitely sign up for it. Uh, we will make sure that we link the uh, the registration form in the YouTube video. I just don't have it in front of me. Um, if you give me, like, a couple seconds, I can probably get it really quick. Uh, that's what my internet browser sounds like when it loads up. I'm pretty sure you, all of you guys heard that, so that's awesome. Uh, I don't have anything playing, but yeah, let me find this registration form and I will make sure to put that in the comments here if you guys have not had a chance to get to it, but we still have a few slots open. We want to make sure that we're, we're trying to make sure that all those uh, slots get filled up before uh, Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. No, Wednesday. I think the day is Wednesday. Uh, whatever the 22nd is. I don't know what the 22nd is, but I think that's a Wednesday. Um, so, yeah. So, make sure to sign up. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Where the... F where's the share? Oh, there it is. I found it. I found it. I found it, guys. Don't worry. There it is. Okay. Get rid of that. Bam. There. There's the link. I found it. That's the form to sign up for uh, the tournament. Uh, there will be cash prizes for some of the winning teams, and there'll be prizes for whoever um, has the most kills throughout the entire tournament. We'll be keeping track of all that. It will be casted by me and a special guest caster, uh, Ship at Nine. Um, and we will have a TGP team showing up there. So if you feel like you can, you can best uh, Yam and Sunny and Hammer and Black, make sure to jump in and find out where they're dropping. Um, but yeah, dude, it's going to be a really good fun time. This is our first tournament. Uh, obviously, we'll have, we wanted to work a couple of things out and before we wanted to do a tournament. So that's why it's taking a little bit of time. But I'm excited for it. I know Bird's excited for it. We're excited for it. We just got to make sure we got the full lobby. Uh, like I said, there's a couple more spots. So jump in hit that registration form and with that i think i am done i think i've covered everything that i wanted to cover uh shout out to everybody that was in chat uh ghost ham i think it's, I, maybe i saw the tgp mark i don't know but uh guys thank you so much for for listening for watching uh for supporting for sharing for everything you guys do uh we wouldn't be able to do we wouldn't want to do it without you guys that's the really kind of the thing like we would want to just sit here and talk to nobody so thank you guys and i will catch you guys next week oh really on probably on friday adios guys rng i don't even know what that means no one knows what it means but it's provocative no it's not it's gets the people it's going random random news rng tgp tgp random news generator rng Real nigga games, random news, RNG, Black, 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 Black,